Good day, dear friend. How are you and your family friends? I'm Dr. Prosper Tetedo, United Kingdom, bringing to you for our reflection today on the topic, listen Lord. Our key scripture, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 9, John 10, verse 4, and Psalm 48, and we're finishing with Job chapter 36, verse 11. Shall we pray? Father, we pray even at this time that you help us to communicate with God by listening, O oh Lord, so that we'll be able to have the tr truth that will protect us against the lies and deceptions of the enemy and that we'll be able to listen carefully to your voice to be able to resist every temptation even as Jesus Christ did by countering Satan's seductive lies, knowing what the Father has written in his word. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Listening to God is recognizing God's voice. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 9. As a boy working in the temple, Samuel didn't recognize God's voice when he spoke to him. But later, as a prophet, his ear was the portal through which God spoke to an entire nation. Learning to recognize God's voice isn't a skill that is acquired overnight because he speaks to us at different times in different ways and in different settings. Listening to God and recognizing God's voice involves one, a call for spiritual maturity. Jesus said, the sheep follow him for they know his voice. John chapter 10, verse four. Note, he said his sheep, not his lambs, know his voice. Baby sheep follow adult sheep until their senses are trained. That means there is grace for the immature. So if your spiritual ears aren't developed yet, God will reward you till they are. Two means not being limited by your previous experiences. When God spoke to Moses, a mountain shook, whereas he spoke to Elijah in a still small voice. Don't limit God and don't try to figure him out. He can speak to you through your Bible, through those qualified to teach his word, through a song, through a painful situation, and through your thoughts and desires when you are submitted to him. The key is to stay close to God and keep your receiver tuned. Four, it means being obedient to God. David said, I take joy in doing your will. Psalm 40 verse eight. When it comes to recognizing God's voice, is your response when I get around to it. If I can fit you in, I'll think about it. Read this. If they pray and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. Job 36 verse 11. May the Lord you May the Lord develop your listening skills so that you listen and recognize God's voice in the midst of the so many distractions that are going on so that your tomorrow shall be greater than today. Be blessed.